Hey everyone, it's Tracking Pat. In today's video, we're going to show how to do thread repair in the Prototrack RLX lathe. It is a little bit different than the SX, which we did previously, so I want to make sure that you understand what's different and what's the same. So starting out here, you'll see the part that I have in my hand. It is a two inch long thread. It's an inch and a quarter in diameter and it's eight threads per inch is the pitch. And uh, I made this part yesterday, but now what I'm gonna do is put it back into the lathe, pick the thread back up and show how to recut it. So if this was a real scenario where somebody brought a part into a job shop and had to have it recut because it was welded or something like that, or had to extend, extend the uh, thread, something like that, I could have done so. For, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it back in the machine, okay? And now that I've got that in here, I'm just gonna set this on the floor. So what I gotta do first is I gotta establish where Z0 is, all right? So I'm in the DRO mode. I've got the right tool in here, so I'm simply gonna bring this over and touch it off the front of the part. And for this sake, I think I can just eyeball it close enough to call that Z0. So I'm gonna zero that out, move it out of the way. So now I'm in the DRO mode. Where I'm gonna go next is I'm gonna to go to the do one functions. In the do one, you'll notice the fourth button says thread repair. And it starts out by asking me to describe what the thread is that I'm trying to cut. So as I said before, it's an inch and a quarter in diameter. I'm gonna start a hundred thousandths away from the part. I'm gonna keep the diameter the same. It's not a tapered thread. Uh, my Z end is a negative two inches. The pitch is eight threads per inch, which is 0.125. Number of passes, it's going to be eight. And then one spring pass. It's an outside thread. It's a single lead thread. And my RPM is gonna be at 300. Okay, now it's important to point out the fact that when you do a standard thread, it actually cuts at a 29 and a half degree angle so that it cuts with the leading edge of the tool as it's making the thread. But when I'm picking up a thread like this, it's gonna come in at a straight zero angle so that it could come in and clean it up. Okay, so what it's telling me to do here is to run the spindle and shut it off. And that's what it does in order to uh, automatically read the encoder. And so when I do that, it's gonna tell me when I'm done just to push next. So let's turn it on real quick off real quick. It's really important to make sure that it doesn't relax and roll backwards so that the encoder uh, counting is correct. In this case, it's perfect, so I'm gonna hit next. Next thing it asks me to do is position the tool. Now, this is the hardest part because the better I am at positioning the tool, the better it's gonna cut the thread the first time. I like to use a piece of white paper or something so I have a better contrast so I can see it because I have to get my face right in there to see what I'm doing, okay? So let's do that next. Okay, so I've got it positioned inside of there and it tells me to hit the set key. And then it tells me after I do that to push next. All right, now it's asking me to back the tool away. So I'm gonna bring it out in X and move it out of the way a little bit so it's got some room to work with. And then push next again. And it'll process what I told it to do. And now it's telling me, okay, whenever you're ready, push go. Okay, so what I'm going to do, cause it's kind of hard to hear me talking over it. I'm just gonna turn on the spindle and let it recut the thread and we'll see how it does, okay? And there you go. So now the thread is cut, but it's very common that the first time you cut one, you might still have to go a little deeper or maybe adjust it a little bit uh, in and out in the Z axis. This is where it really differs in the RX from the SX. So what I'm gonna do is just go right back to thread repair, okay? But before I do that, I wanna look at my tool. So let's say I open my tool table and I look here at my tool and I say, hey, I gotta go about another 10 thousandths deeper. I would just pull up my tool here, tell it negative 10 thousandths. That's gonna make it inset the tool a little bit. I'm gonna close that. I'm gonna go back to my thread repair and you'll see that it remembers the thread that I was gonna cut. 
So in this case, I don't have to follow any of the rules. It remembers what I did the first time. So I simply have to push the next button all the way until it tells me it's ready to process. And now I'm ready to recut it, okay? So I'm just gonna hit forward, push go again. And it's gonna cut it 10 thousandths deeper. Okay, and there you have it. So as you can see, it's actually very simple. If you just follow the directions, uh, you should be able to do it the very first time without any problem whatsoever. Even if I'm doing multi-lead threads or anything, it's all in the way that I program the thread in the beginning, follow the directions all the way through, and then let it go. I hope you find this very beneficial as you're learning this kind of thing. I will see you in the next video. Until then, remember I'm Tracking Pat, and keep on tracking. Thanks for watching.